These two units are very similar in length, like nearly identical. There's only one concern I have with this installation. And that is all the salt water that's going to be gushing into our floating home. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Right, there's one thing having bikes on the boat, but we wanted to make it easy to get them on and off because they, even though they fold up, it's still a bit tricky. We got lots of space on this boat, but this is how we get our, our bikes <laughs> off the boat and into the dinghy. You know what they say? What do they say, guys? They say work smarter, not harder. They say, why have a dog and bark yourself? <laughs> hey, granddad. <laughs> We'll take you for a little trip to the shops. It's a little harder than being on the dock. That is step one, getting all of the things into the tender. All right, guys, I've been down to uh, Harbour Freight. They're not the greatest, but uh, we'll see how they go. I got a set of three for 20 bucks. I haven't got any pullers, and uh, there's some beautiful hydraulic ones in that down there, but this should do the job. Uh, they're just a handy little one to have in the kit too, because there's so many things I've used these for over the years. But um, hopefully I've got enough room here to actually, um, so I don't have a lot to work with, so hopefully this doesn't foul. So I'm going to get back to where we left off the other night. I'm going to slide the flange back down. I've just got one bolt holding it in place. I'm going to oh, slide this out. So like I said, I don't know how much room I've got. There's a anode on the shaft, so hopefully it slides down enough because it's going to obviously foul on the skeg at the back there. So uh, hopefully I can get down to about here, yeah, or more. I need to get, obviously, the puller onto this. I only just need to crack this, and then I can tap it off. I could have probably hit harder with the hammer. I just didn't want to damage any of the flange. I don't think I would, but, you know, right tool for the right job, guys. Puller's needed, and that's what we've got, and that's what we're going to use. I'll loosen this back up. So I was just chatting to me old mate Paul yesterday. And he actually told me that these grub screws, whoever installed it on his shaft, didn't tighten them up properly. This actually slid back a little bit. And um, he was quite lucky because he hopped off his boat. And he has a dry boat. There shouldn't be a drop of water in his boat. And he hopped off his boat, ready to go home. And he seen his bilge going off. He looked in. This became loose. And water was pouring in through here and the in the um, seal so he then obviously he he tightened it all back up and whatnot but he actually reinstalled a second one of these so he's got a backup that obviously scared him a little bit as it would and so yeah he's tightened them up with Loctite and put another one on and tighten them up so he's got a bit of a bit like a pipe clamp you know you always have two on where it's underwater he's got two sleeves probably overkill but better than your boat sinking <sighs> oh, nice I've got that down a fair way okay let's tighten that back up in a second okay I've had this soaking with the penetrating oil oh that's got some pressure on it I don't want to wreck the thread on this because it's only a cheap set of pullers. I'm gathering. This hasn't been off in a long time. King in the penetrating oil. Um, I think I got another set 
I'm hoping these threads don't give way on me because I'm gonna have to put a bit of bundy on it. Hopefully it does the job. Hopefully this should fit. I look, I've got plenty of room there. I'm going up a size here. I've actually got a mark. <sighs> Got a little mark I put with the punch. You can see right there, mm -hmm. and it's exactly where it was. It hasn't moved anything. Real close. primer and paint and that'll look like new again. <laughs> There's water still coming in the boat. Okay, so far so good. Everything is going to plan. Next step is removing the old PSS valve and sliding on the new seal without letting too much water in. Let's hope we can pull this off. Okay, that's a lot of water rushing in. We might need more than a hand towel, babe. Okay, we seem to have it under control. Just one more measurement. A zippy tie, a few taps. And that one is off. Let's slide on the new one. should almost help us get it over it, I reckon. What do you think? I think we'll need it. Right. <laughs> I've got to this slide over it. Well, that wasn't too hard after all. We didn't flood the boat and now we should have a dry bilge. 
Well, there you have it. Step one of what will be a pretty big job on the engine. But for now though, we've replaced this old PSS valve while in the water and feel more comfortable knowing that no more water will be coming in the boat. Today we are cleaning a flange. If you don't know what a flange is, well, neither do I. I just like the name. It's something to do with whatever dad is doing, something to do with the shaft. Anyway, Taj is cleaning it. And then after he's done that, I'm gonna clean it with this. Wire After he's finished wire brushing the flange, then I will clean it with this stuff. <laughs> It's package time, guys. So, we have another board. package from yes. Amazon. What is it? Filters. <laughs> Sediment filters for making water. Water. Ooh, what's that? To make our water. Oh. It is the mighty mashup for baby food. <laughs> Baby one. Oh, Ron, Ron. Ron. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. 